There are a lot of questions, of course, about how this case has been handled. Joining us now to talk more, Dr. Rashad Ritchie. Uh, we're going to unpack some of the political issues with Rashad as we talk about this. And Rashad, I wonder, you know, for the Arbery family, they've got to be thinking, and rightly so, what took so long? Yeah, what took so long is the fact that obviously other elements got involved. A Glenn County commissioner has gone on record. He's actually a medical doctor named Peter Murphy. That county commissioner has gone on record and said that the officers actually wanted to make an arrest back in February. However, the district attorney's office intervened, according to this county commissioner, which stopped an arrest from happening. You know, the case, do you think that it was mishandled from the get go? I mean, it, it, it took GBI, what, two days to make these arrests? Yeah, and the fact that it took the GBI only two days to make an arrest really speaks to the mishandling of local law enforcement and also the GBI getting involved and basically bypassing local law enforcement speaks largely to their level of uh, confidence or lack thereof in the local law enforcement community of Glen County and the surrounding area to do the right thing. So the GBI arresting regular Georgia citizens is not a common practice. Typically, that is reserved for law enforcement as well as elected officials and, and corruption investigations. But they decided to get in. They did not wait for a grand jury to convene nor the special prosecutor to actually ha uh, issue an arrest warrant. The GBI did this directly. You know, I remember covering the Trayvon Martin case uh, down in Florida very well. I'm sure it's a case that you were following, uh, too. Uh, and there just seemed to be a bunch of similarities, no? I mean, the obvious, the most obvious being the color of the skin of the people involved here, the shooter and this dead young man. Uh, and there were so many racial undertones that were just sort of simmering uh, for so long with that case. Are we looking at another another trial, another prolonged trial that's really going to uh, bring up some of, some of those uh, racial differences that still exist? Well, it already has happened. A lot of the racial tension is clear and evident and in the forefront of this matter. Uh, but what we have seen is exacting leadership, not only from the governor of Georgia about this matter, who spoke very plainly and said what he saw was horrific. And then the GBI director, Vic Reynolds, went on record and even on Twitter and said that he will absolutely follow the law and justice will be served. And then the quick action taking place this week. So that has definitely calmed some of the racial tension. However, the racial overtones uh, cannot be uh, cannot be expressed uh, more so. It, it is what it is at this point, and we are going to see that narrative continue until the fullness of justice is served. It's a story that is making national headlines. Rashad, I think we're going to be talking more about this in the days and weeks ahead. Rashad Ritchie, always good to talk to you, my friend. CBS 46 will continue following this story. You can get updates during our newscast and also on our CBS 46 streaming app.